The moment has arrived. The world is watching. Jake Paul, Tommy Fury, both men undefeated. Dada'iya, Saudi Arabia. The talk is over. Finally, they collide. We are underway. Ray Flores, Showtime Sean Porter, Coach Larry Wade. I we just got the game plan from Jay Leon Love, the coach of, of uh, Jake Paul. He said, hey, you don't take those steps back. You don't back up. Obviously, right there being rushed, he did was smart, you know, to, to take steps back right there. But we'll see what happens. Uh, Tommy, on the other hand, he started as I expected him to, a little fast, coming right after Jake. This is what I expected from, from Tommy. Tommy Fury. Led by his father, John Fury. Also his older brother in attendance, Tyson Fury. Jake Paul, his brother, Logan Paul. Social media superstar, WWE superstar, also in attendance. Supporting his younger brother, Jake Paul. Time being called by referee charge after a food. Well, the refs don't warn them about wrestling. But I'll tell you what Jake is doing. Jake is trying to settle down, Tommy. So if I grab you a couple of times, all that high energy that you came to the ring with, you don't have a chance to use it. Settle down. Both men have predicted knockout wins under four rounds. There's an overhand right. That overhand right has put away the likes of Tyron Woodley. Also put Anderson Silva on the canvas in Jake Paul's recent victory back in October in Arizona. Listen, Tommy has doubled and tripled up on the jab. And then finally, Jake came over the top of the overhand right. If you're Tommy, keep jabbing. Don't stop jabbing because you see a weapon coming after you. You, you stabilize that weapon by continuing to keep jabbing. The court of Tommy Fury telling him to circle to his right. Again, this is an 18 foot ring. It's what Tommy Fury wanted. This is a small ring. Jake Paul said, no problem. Meaning, it's not hard to find the other man. Overhand right over the top, connecting Paul. I get this is going to be another overhand race because we got a lot of that from Bobby Jack. And we see Jake Paul, we know him for being really heavy handed with that right hand. And he's starting to release it with, with, with authority. Jake Paul has that right hand. He's ready to unload it. Tommy Fury said, I'm a way better boxer. There's no way this guy can beat me. Tommy Fury has proclaimed the public is only seeing 10% of what I'm capable of inside the ring. If you look at this fight right now, you have to ask yourself, who is quote-unquote the YouTuber and who is quote-unquote the boxer? Because if you look at it, Jake Paul is showing that he is definitely a seasoned boxer. He just has to stay consistent in what he's doing and put pressure on him in the same way. BJ Flores, Jay Leon Love in the corner of Jake Paul. There's a left hook for Jake Paul. Final moments of the first round. Jake Paul using his jab as the hero right hand to the body by Paul back into the middle. Jake Paul very relaxed. He needs a stiff jab from Tommy Fury. 
Jake Paul actually told Tommy Fury, bet your purse. If you beat me, I will double your purse. If you lose to me, you get nothing. Still no word if that's official or not. There's a right hand down the center by Tommy Fury. Let's see shot. And I want to say this again, just so that it's clear. During this fight, just because a fighter is moving does not mean that that fighter is, is afraid to fight. And it doesn't mean that that fighter is running. What Tommy is doing is he's standing out of the reach of Jake Paul, and he's setting up his jab, and he's working off of that. That's what he's supposed to do in this fight. I'll box the YouTube. There's a left hook blocked by Jake Paul, 100 minutes to go in the second round. Jake Paul has sparred the likes of Andrew Tweedy overhand, right? Also, John Pascal is in and, and sparring all over the United States overhand, right by Paul. Now they tie up after a boom. We'll separate them. That overhand right is starting to find a home. Jake needed some, some kind of rhythm to get started, and now he's setting it up with a jab, face, and overhand right. Now to get him back into this fight. Oh, that seemed to be relaxed. The stiff jab by Tommy Fury. They call it fast chest. What does that mean? Tommy, you got hit with two overhand rights in a row. Calculate what happened, and don't let it happen again. <laughs> We are nearing the end of overhand right now. Chance Fury for Spawn has been to the of his own. The left hook of Maxi shot for Jake Paul. Two rounds in the books. The likes of Ben Askren, Tyron Woodley, put Anderson Silva on the canvas in the final round. But Tommy Fury ate it well, and the question was, which man will be able to withstand the other's power, and which man will be able to inflict punishment on the other? So far, Tommy Fury has been able to eat the overhand right of Jake Paul, but now Jake Paul with a stick jab to back up Tommy Fury momentarily. Absolutely. So we go, we talk about those overhand rights that have put other fighters out. Those other fighters were older. Those other fighters were a little over the hill and had some mileage. Tommy ain't got none of that. So you got a young, fresh body. In front of you, it's gonna take more than one overhand right to get Tommy out of here. Now, here's the thing. Sorry, but here's the thing. Tommy switched his, his, his game plan. Why are you standing in front of Jake? You continue to move and do what was working for you in the first and second round. Jake Paul. He's got to pick it back 
back up. He get back on his on his toes. He used the jab from the outside. Ron Schwartz was scheduled for a long ball with some strong words for the Fury family. I looked over at him. It didn't seem to shake. No one seemed to accept him. Still 
still finds a home. Even late, they made no adjustments to that. Jake Paul still can't afford to get overzealous. These moments were, you know, especially that point taken. You let the big shot, still take your time because Tommy Fury can eat your shots and he can deliver some of his own. Under a minute left in the the deduction of a point, what does that do to the mental psyche of Jake Paul? It's not fair. I have my personal opinion. I don't feel like it's fair. I don't think either fighter is fighting dirty. But what that does to Jake Paul is it makes him feel like he's going to rush. If anything, you can go in and make this a 9 9 round. round. I agree with you, Sean. I don't think it's fair either. Both guys were throwing punches at that time. Uh, that's a big right hand, right on the, right on the button. Jake Paul, 40 of 122, Fury, 
70 up to 30. They both start off strong here in the seventh round.